So here we have a standard teardown video that comes with the package. I'd like to point out a couple of important sliders here. For instance, here, if I hover over this here, you can see this pops up and says it's a course video adjustment. This actually lets you slide through the entire video in its entirety just by dragging and dropping it around here. If you go to a particular place here, there's a, so let's say I stop right here. And you can see here, I'm currently on six seconds into the video. Now there's another control up here. This is called the fine video adjustment range. And you can see it hover, I hover over it, it tells you what that is there. Here you have a drop down, and you can set this value to anything you want here. So if I set this value, for instance, to three here, you can see my current stop point is six. And I come down to the fine video adjustment here. You'll see I get a fine video adjustment that goes from three to nine seconds. And if I slide here, this just goes within that particular range here. If I change the value up here, let's say I change it down to two, uh, my current stop point is 7.151. So down here, my new fine video adjustment goes from 5.151 to 9.151. So what it is, is this stop time plus or minus whatever value is select here. And this can be very useful in uh, actually getting exactly the correct breakpoints in a time study here. So for instance, if I double click this, it'll play this activity back here. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to wait for this guy to move and drop this down here. So I'm just going to play the video forward and I'm going to miss exactly when he starts to move again. So we're looking for this guy to start collapsing the cage. And you can see you're watching him, you're watching him. And now he moves, but I missed exactly the point. So I can stop it right here. And what I can then do is I can use the fine video adjustment. Again, look at the value here, 13.26. And my current range is plus or minus two. So down here, you see it goes from 11.26 to 15.26. So if I just slide it this way, I can find exactly that particular point in time when he raises his foot to kick that away here. So you can see I'm just doing it right there. You see I'm moving his foot right there. So that's exactly the point, the break point that you want here. If I wanted to start my timing from there, I'm going to hit the start button. The current stop point, which is this, will become the start time. And then we will let him collapse the cage. So you see it went, that became the start time. And I miss again the end, the ending time. So I can do the same thing here. So I can just slide it back and find exactly the point when it, it, dro it stops dropping it down. You can see it coming down right to there. So now I've got the exact time that I need for this particular element. And that would be the collapse cage element. So I click collapse cage and I click on the save. And I've got that time exact starting point and exact ending point. So fine video adjustment is very, very useful in allowing you to um, adjust your video to exactly where you want to pick up the time from.